Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a spark plug on a Craftsman's lawnmower with a 6.0 motor. And for you, for those who need the part number, I mean the model number, it's right there. In case you had the same one or whatever like that. Um, I had a bunch of these around the house. Spark plug, gapper. But I ended up having a bad one because I can't find it. So, um, these are like $199 at Menards. And then I got a spark plug. I believe this is like two ninety nine at Menards. You know, the spark plug that it needed, it was like a champion. I can't think of the model or RJ something. But I don't know if they ain't have it or whatever like that. They still make them, but I got a replacement part for it. And that was the spark plug that you've seen up and up. Um, first, basically, you can see it need replacing. You just want to uh, pull this plug off right there. And uh, the, the spark plug is right there. I believe that's a 21 millimeter 1316 spark plug. Yep. Yep. So, you want to take your ratchet, pop that um, socket on the end of there. Let me move this back some. So I can try to do this with one hand. Actually, I probably don't need the extension. Let me take the extension off. Yeah, guys, I didn't need the extension. So you just want to pop that on there. And just, see, it's kind of loose. I could do it with one hand. I'll take that out. And I noticed though, like normally I could pull it on the uh, first, a while ago, some years ago, I put it on the first thing, but now I got to put it like two or three times. So I just decided I'd change the spark plugs. You're supposed to change them every year, two years. You know, it's cheap enough to do, but I'm one of them guys that ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, it's, it really wasn't that bad. I see some guys pulling these spark lawnmower like 10 times, won't stay running, but I figured two or three times wasn't bad. So you want to open this, I'm gonna open this right here. I'm gonna open this and the spark plug gap and I'll show you how to gap it off as well. All right, now you see this right here? <clears throat> That's where you wanna, um, the part you wanna gap. And if you look, I don't know if you can see this, it got numbers on it, like 0 0.2, 0, 0.3 or zero, all the way up to um, 0.100. So, you gotta look your specs up for the um, the lawnmower. All, all of them are different. So mines need to be gapped at 0. I don't know, I'm trying to focus in, 0. 0. 0.030. So you basically just wanna put the spark plug in between the, it's hard to do this with, uh, let me see if I pop it. It's hard to do it with two hands. But basically you just wanna slide that between there up to the 0. 0.030. No, it's self-explanatory, man. Just slide, just stick your spark plug in that at the end, what's that, 0 0.20, and slide it up to the uh, 0 0.03 mark, and it'll be gap for the spark plug. All right, guys, once you got that gap, just put it back in there. Don't cross straight it. Just put it in there and twist it in there. Make sure you hand tighten it. All right, and then just tighten it up a little bit. Don't over tighten it, just tighten it up so it don't vibrate or loose. All right, and then just, I don't got no spark plug boot grease, but just, just pop it back on there, you'll be fine until you hear a click. And now you're done, that's it. And you basically just change the spark plug on your lawnmower. Alright guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next uh, video. I'm out. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.